Hey guys, what up? This is Ginger Beer from Clism Gaming, and today I'm going to be doing the World of Warcraft interview with uh, my friend Kessia, I think her name is. Her uh, name is really spelled weird, but uh, she um, is not going to be on the podcast with us, so I am going to do a uh, live fucking one with a webcam, because I just got a new webcam. So, uh, yeah, you're going to see my beautiful fucking face, and I'm going to read these things off my computer screen because she, uh, I sent it to her in a Word document, and we're going to do it that way. So, here's how we're going to do this. I, I. So, uh, get my face ready. All right. That's what I do before every podcast, just so you guys know. Alright, so we're going to start off with this. Um, the reason why my friend, the bearded one, my co-host, is not going to be in this is because he really knows nothing about like World of Warcraft, so I'm going to do this uh, by myself. So here we go. Alright, so uh, 20 questions of World of Warcraft with Kessia. Uh, what is your favorite class and race and why? And she, of course, fucking wrote an insane amount of of like paragraphs and crap so it says my favorite class even though it's not my main anymore is a druid i like it because you have uh the option to be a tank a dps and a healer i have no idea what a dps so don't ask me uh although personally i would say that it is not the best because uh, tanking uh, t- uh spec the damage and healing spec uh are very effective plus I love the great druid shapeshift forms come in very handy. Uh, basically, that's what it is. Uh, it's very hard to pick a favorite race, but if I had to, I would say Worgen. Uh, again, it's not my uh, main, and I absolutely love the starting zone and the story behind the Worgens. Worgens or Worgens or whatever. I've only played World of Warcraft a couple times, so I'm not completely sure how to pronounce most of those. Uh, I really, really enjoy playing as this one. Uh, second choice would be Gnome. Then I would be targeted for short jokes, so I steer clear of that. Uh, Kessia, I went to school with her since, uh, grade one, so she is really short. So that's why that would work. Uh, second, um, question would be, uh, what race and class do you play and why? She says she plays as a goblin priest, and she said that her sister uh, encouraged her to do it. Uh, She wanted to be she wanted to be goblins together with her, and since I would always make druids, she said I should try priest because it is a lot more fun. I hated it at first. I died very easily, and my mana ran out in the blink of an eye. Because yeah, priest, you fucking use a lot of magic and shit. But once you get a higher level, it uh, gets way more fun. I'm in love with the class now. I top the damage charts on a recount in dungeons and battlegrounds and shit. So, yeah, she likes that. And uh, her sister, um, I'm not completely sure what her... I think it was... uh, Her sister's name was like Kilowatt or something. She was one of the uh, biggest guilds in World of Warcraft for like three years or something. And in order to get in, you had to like submit a resume. I was like, what? What the fuck? Shit. Bitches. Aight. So, third question. Uh, in World of Warcraft, what is your favorite quest? And she said, my favorite quest in World of Warcraft is the Death Knight quest. Uh, you can go around killing Crusaders and shit. While the Lich King whispers not to be weak or kill without mercy. While the town cowers. Cowers? Cowers. In feel, feel, fuck, I can't talk, in fear and says some pretty funny shit. Uh, when I first played, I thought it was the best thing ever to mind control by the Lich King. Uh, and have the Crusaders telling me where I crapped, telling me that they crapped their pants. Alright, cool story, brah. Alright, fourth question. Then again, there are 20 questions, so I will fucking try and fly through this shit. Uh, what is your favorite battleground? Uh, my favorite battleground is by far the Warsung Gulch. Sounds beast and Asian. Uh, it's just the one I get pumped up for the most. Fuck, I couldn't read that, so that's why I paused. 
Uh, I always want to take the flag or help heal people or just kick some ass and take names and try to top the charts. Yeah. I question five. What is the choice? What is your choice of weapon on any class or race? My favorite choice of weapon is a staff because they look great and majestic. Excuse me. And hold many of the stats in which I need. So yeah, as she said, she does play a uh, goblin priest, I think it was, or a druid or some shit. I don't know. Anyway, she likes the staff because she can do sexual things with it, right? I guess so. Uh, what is your favorite city of Azeroth or continent in Azeroth? My favorite city in Azeroth is Stormwind! Exclamation mark. I should really yell that. It's like, Azeroth Stormwind! Shit. Uh, I could probably move my character around to that city with my eyes closed. I used to be able to do that in RuneScape. Uh, I love the way it looks, and when the festivities go on, I love the NPC that they have there. Also, I enjoy killing guards. She spelled guards wrong. I'm going to be a fucking grammar Nazi. She spelled it uh, G-A-U-R-D-S when it's supposed to be G U R. A-R-D-S. Fuck, I can't even talk. And players went on board on my Horty. Uh, great. She's horny. No, Horty. Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> she says. And as for the continent, I would have to say that Stranglethorn. I will strangle your mom's thorn. Stranglethorn Vale, because I love the atmosphere and forests and a great time questing there. Uh, if you guys ever played uh, World of Warcraft, I've played it a couple times. I would say that I think a blizzard on purposely makes all your characters fucking tiny and all of the surrounding atmosphere huge as shit. Because every single one of the trees are fucking huge. You can live in them. They're fucking big. They're like the trees in northern Canada. Uh, question 7. If you had the choice, would you rather be trapped... Raiding the same dungeon over and over or stuck skilling. I would rather be stuck raiding the same dungeon over and over because at least I can practice with my spell rotation and have fun killing things. If there's one pet peeve of mine, it's building my professions up. I hate it. Now, loosely, I can correlate that to RuneScape because I mostly spend more time fucking getting my skills and shit up instead of actually going out and like fucking paying attention to like fucking combat and shit but uh yeah anyway question number eight i already read number seven i was gonna say number seven what is your favorite mount my favorite mount is the twilight drake i love the colors on it so i have no idea what a twilight drake is let's look twilight drake watch it come up with like fucking twilight edward cullen Ooh, that's nice Ooh, pretty. I will put that on the fucking screen in a bit. All right. Um, fuck. What is your favorite choice of faction and why? Uh, when it all comes down to it, I would say the Horde. In my opinion, most Alliance quests are better, and I'm not a huge fan of Org org orc or org but i just love being the horde uh, the players on the horde side more are laid back and we kick ass on the battleground and i just feel more comfortable being horde to be honest i feel more comfortable being horde too uh, i've only played like three four characters on world of warcraft and my favorite character i have no why i have no idea why but uh i like the troll not because of the internet trolls, but the trolls just really fun. I like being a troll hunter. And, uh, yeah, because uh, I think that's the only character that actually has orange as a hair color. Because I like my beard. Ginger beard, right? Uh, the players in the Horde side more are laid back. Yeah, I know that. Uh, many Alliance players are uptight and they can be fucking douchebags. And I know that because I've played it before and they steal your kills and shit. And I honestly can say that after playing Alliance for four to six years, they can be pretty fucking douchebaggy. Okay, number ten. How often do you play World of Warcraft? When I have when I have a subscription, I play every day. Don't ask me how many hours, though. 
Uh, I lose count. Yeah, when you're playing that, you fucking get addicted. Uh, I do have to cut myself off, even though uh, when I do other things, though, because I can get into the game, and I have to take a little break. Uh, most video game companies and game cases say that uh, video games or whatever can give you a seizure when they can, but that's just people that fucking are seizure-prone. Uh, I play video games uh, 10 hours a day on average, but I can't anymore because I work and uh, shit. Um, but uh, yeah, when you're getting into fucking video games, you're really getting into video games like Call of Duty and shit. You're really getting into video games like that, like really badly. I've done it before. It's hard. Uh, question number 11. What sort of nausea do you experience when the internet is down and you are forced to read the WoW handbook? Because she reads that a lot. Uh, oh, I've been there. I've read the WoW handbook, but I didn't read all of the World of Warcraft. That I didn't read a World of Warcraft book. Uh, reading and playing are two different things. I really don't know the actual story behind the World of Warcraft, really. And reading the book, uh, I see the NPCs and think, "Oh, that's who that is." Yeah. But when I just crave the game even more and more, I don't have it, and I am reading the book. Cool. Question number 12. When your WoW membership runs out, what is the first thing you think of? Oh, fuck my life. I was going to get so much done. And the mad face. God damn you, Blizzard, for making me have to pay. For those of you that don't know, World of Warcraft is $14. I think it's $14.99 or $14 a month, so roughly round that off to $15 bucks a month. Holy shit. My bottle smells like blood. Yeah. How many of your friends, this is question number 13, how many of your friends play WoW with you? I play with my friend Melissa. Glad to say I got her hooked. Yeah, when you don't really have a lot of friends to play with, you get your other fucking real life friends to uh, get hooked on shit and they won't fucking stop bothering you. All right. Question number 14. Are you good at World of Warcraft? I would say so. Not absolutely the best, but I am confident. As long as you try and have fun, that's all that matters. Because if you're going to be a try-hard and fucking try-hard, then you do what you want, because I really don't give a shit. Uh, number 15. How long have you had... Ah, uh, fuck. How long have you frequently been playing World of Warcraft? From grade 7 until current day, so 6 years, almost 7. Damn. Uh, 16. How many waking hours have you spent playing World of Warcraft, or have you ever spent an all-nighter playing it? Oh, dear God. I don't even want to think about that. I've, uh, played all day, all night, occasionally taking breaks, but yes. I've pulled many all-nighters for a while. Uh, I've also missed school for a while. We'll keep that between us, though. Uh, yeah. I fucking put that up on the podcast. Son of a duck fucker. Uh, Question number 17. Can you estimate how many hours in total your account has logged? Uh, Hard to say because I've switched accounts about five times, so it wouldn't be accurate. And I could just imagine I'm nearly playing for seven years. I'm a hardcore World of Warcraft gamer. LOL. All caps for the LOL. LOL. Uh, question number 18. World of Warcraft is one of the few MMORPGs that includes swimming as an option of travel. Do you believe this is an advantage or disadvantage slash flying? The, also, do you believe that flying is a good uh, option? Because playing RuneScape, you never got mounts, you never got uh, flying ability, you never got swimming ability. So that's just basically a fucking walk around and you get summoning that's close enough to a mount. Uh, she says uh, swimming kind of slows you down, but it's good. If you want to find uh, mining opportunities underwater, plus I've always wanted to swim across the Great Sea. Since, since I can't, that upsets me a little. Flying is a huge advantage, though, exclamation mark, great way of transportation. I believe she told me before that she can't swim across the Great Sea because there's a lot of fucking insane, dangerous shit over there. I was over at her house the one time, and I remember she went to go underwater or something like that, and alligators ate her or some shit. I was like, hi, you suck. Question number 19, we're almost fucking done. 
Do you believe that World of Warcraft has a unique combat system as opposed to other MMORPGs you've played? Other MMORPGs have similar ideas to WoW, like stats and uh, stats on gear, as well as spells and stuff. I can't really speak for other computer games because it's really only the one I play. But for what I have seen, it is quite unique. Going back to RuneScape, RuneScape is actually in the process of a new combat system. They're in the beta right now. So I actually, I went on my RuneScape account and I have the uh, little beta ticket, but uh, I haven't had a chance to actually buy membership because my computer is such a bitch and I can't fucking play it in full screen because it'll lag the shit out of my crap. Uh, question number 20, last question. Where in... Where is your place of choice in Azeroth to hang out? Azeroth, fuck, I can't talk. Uh, she says she likes hanging around the major cities and occasionally going uh, long walks on the beach or going to the starting zones and trolling. Uh, yeah, I would do that too. Uh, personally, myself, I, like, I love the nightlife and I would totally love to go to major cities, but you probably need a computer to handle it as well as a good CPU, a video card, and a shit ton of RAM to even withstand the lag and shit of, like, boss fights and going to the great cities and shit. But, uh, that's it for today. So, my name is Gingerbeard from Clism Gaming, and if you guys don't believe my name is Gingerbeard, you can fucking see my beard, aight? Aight. So, we're gonna, uh, leave it off at that, and, uh, my co-host, the bearded one, will be back in the next episode, and I will see you guys later. I will try more of this webcam stuff next time but uh for now i believe me and the bearded one are just gonna stay with the voices instead of the video i just wanted to try this out so i hope you guys all like my face and we will see you guys next time peace